Times, laws, and technology change at a lightning fast pace these days. The world is more connected than ever before, and global business in Asia is growing at an unprecedented rate. Korea is ideally located in the heart of Northeast Asia. It is consistently at the forefront of developing new, innovative technologies. Today, Korean businesses are among the most avid users of international arbitration, and its arbitration community is one of the most active in the world. The scale and potential of Korea-related international disputes, coupled with Korea's geographic proximity to the major neighboring economies of China, Japan, and Southeast Asia, make Korea a must-go-to destination for international arbitration. Korea has been blessed with all the right conditions to become a regional hub for international arbitration. The legal community, the legal framework, and judiciary all friendly to international arbitration. Korean companies are frequent users of international arbitration. This allows Korean legal community to adapt to international standards of dispute resolution through international arbitration. With the Korean legal community having a high level of interest and dedication in this practice of law, Korea has become a major activity center for international arbitration in recent years. One of the most important things that parties should look at when choosing a jurisdiction in which to seat their arbitration is the legal framework of that jurisdiction. Korea acceded to the New York Convention in 1973, Korea adopted the model law in 1999, and in 2016, it updated its Arbitration Act to reflect the 2006 revisions to the Trial Model Law. The courts in Korea are also very supportive of arbitration, both in terms of enforcing arbitration agreements, enforcing arbitral awards, and they do not uh, interfere in the process. We are a civil law jurisdiction, not a common law jurisdiction. So many countries in the Asia-Pacific region are also civil law jurisdictions, and they may feel more comfortable arbitrating their disputes in a jurisdiction like Korea. But at the same time, Korea has been very heavily influenced by common law concepts. So it's a jurisdiction, I think, where both perspectives are fully appreciated. So I think it's safe to say that Korea is one of the most arbitration-friendly jurisdictions in Asia, if not the world. The law firms that serve the international arbitration community. They are in Seoul of a very high quality. They consist in not only local firms with international arbitration teams, but also global law firms that have branch offices here, which means that one can uh, expect uh, an understanding of best practices. It's truly uh, an international milieu. Users of arbitration these days are getting increasingly sophisticated and globalized. They expect KCB to be fully on par with the golden standards of international arbitration, but they want it quicker and they want it at a more reasonable cost. We've been looking for ways to build the capacity of our case administration team. We remain committed to being swift and accurate and principled in our response. So being established as a internationally focused division allows KCB International to prioritize its resources and its services to better fit the needs of the international arbitration users. In 2017, KCAB handled a total of 385 arbitration cases, and its international cases continue to rise. Chinese parties were the top foreign users, followed by parties from the United States, Vietnam, Japan, and Indonesia. KCAB international arbitration rules, revised in 2016, reflect the recent trend and best practices in international arbitration that are available in seven different languages. Compared to other arbitral institutions, KCAB International only takes an average of 11 months to conclude an international arbitration proceeding, its principal advantages being time efficiency and cost effectiveness. The International Arbitration Committee of KCAB International provides service and advisory role in decision making by the KCAB International on procedural issues. This committee consists of 19 committee members who are experts in international arbitration from different jurisdictions. As committee, review the case, study the case, make a recommendation, so that KCAB International make a proper decision on the particular issues. KCAB, together with the new Seoul International Dispute Resolution Center, now offers state-of-the-art hearing facilities in the heart of Seoul's Gangnam Business District. The Seoul IDRC is located in the landmark Trade Tower, 
within an hour's drive of Incheon International Airport and is directly connected to both the city airport terminal and the COEX Convention Center. Users can conveniently access a wide array of premium international hotels, shopping, and fine dining cuisine options within walking distance. As a one-stop ADR center, Seoul IDRC offers a variety of convenient on-site services including document handling support, teleconferencing and video conferencing, secretariat services, simultaneous interpretation and transcription, complimentary refreshments, catering, private lounge, and 24-hour security. At KCAB International, we strive to innovate the future of international arbitration by being the most efficient and cost-effective arbitral institution in the world. I am confident that KCAB International will be the driving force in making Korea the next major hub for international arbitration. KCAB International, innovating the future of international arbitration.